San Marcos is the newest city around to sign on to a bike share program. By the end of the weekend, 350 bikes will be spread around the city ready to rent. Okay, KSAN's Lauren Landman learned other similar businesses have plans to set up in San Marcos. Dockless bike share companies may not be new to some communities, but in San Marcos. Something new, it's something bright, and it's going to light up the whole town, I feel. Just like other companies, it takes an app and a few bucks to unlock a bike and go for a ride. As a student at Texas State, I feel like it's going to be very um, beneficial. Um, we don't have to use our cars. There's a lot of students here in Texas State who don't have vehicles. That's just one of the reasons San Marcos was a good fit for the program. Every university has parking issues and traffic issues. And the city says this is just the beginning of introducing more urban transportation options. Basically, bike share, car share, scooters, which we don't have yet, but we're looking at very closely. San Marcos says it's looking at other cities like Austin to see what worked and what didn't. And they've put their wishes in writing to make sure issues are fixed quickly. If somebody reports that one's been parked, you know, blocking ADA access, they have to do that. Uh, they have to fix that problem within two hours under our contract with them. And when it comes to parking a bike. In the, the city of San Marcos, we do have a handful of suggested parking zones. Uh, in, on campus, we have something similar, but they are our forced parking zones. All rules the city hopes will make this new transportation option successful. Lauren Landman, KXAN News. The rates for the bikes are as low as 50 cents for 15 minutes or $7 for a day pass.